everybody welcome back to the vlog to figure out show today we in the kitchen making some steamed fish with okra and vegetables um make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet done so um because this is like a jamaican classic all my real yachties out there you know you know what it is um so let's let's get into it let's get into it Okay guys, so I'm gonna make my steamed fish. This is, we have here silver snapper. I figured out what that fish was from the market. It was a silver snapper. Um, I seasoned it, got some peppers, some onions. And over here, I didn't have pumpkin, um, which I really love to use in my steamed fish or my version of steamed fish. But I do have a pumpkin flavored soup mix. I'm just gonna use the powder from this. Um, Carrots, have one potato, well, one carrot, one potato, about a cup of um, okra, frozen okra, um, one tomato, one corn, and that should be it for veggies. And over here, I have my oil heating up for, um, you know, to get ready um, with the base for the seafood. So once that's done heating up, I'm gonna add, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the hardest veggies first, the ones that take longest to cook, which would be the potatoes. Then I'm gonna add the carrots. Then I'm gonna add the okra, the fish, with um, the onions and the peppers. Um, then the corn and then the tomatoes. And I'm gonna do it in that order. So one of the things about, as I'm, um, stirring up my butter trying to get it to melt let me turn this down um, one of the things about living abroad and not in Jamaica shout out to my Jamaican massive is that um, ooh, watch the steam we don't have um, some of the ingredients that um, or it's not as easily accessible um, to make some of the Jamaican dishes so a lot of the times, while I do get all the seasonings and things like that, I order them from home and I have them shipped to me, um, the ingredients are definitely harder to find, um, but you just have to make do. I'm just uh, stirring up my butter and get it to melt. And then I'm gonna get started with adding my veggies. Steamed fish is a quick dish, quick cook, so. It shouldn't take that long at all. So, yeah, let's do it. I need to learn to look here instead of, cause it kind of looks like I'm looking off, um, but that's cause I'm using my phone and it's not, I don't know, it's a little weird. But um, yeah, let me, let me show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so I added the carrots and the potatoes and I'm gonna cover this up so that they can steam a little bit. I know there's this butter in there, but if you cover it, they will steam. So I'm gonna let that happen. Yeah, and I also, I cook it, I cook steam fish in stages or step by step because um, fish doesn't take that long to cook. However, the vegetables take a little bit longer. And you don't wanna throw everything in the pot at the same time and then your fish turns to mush. So that's why I do it that way. Okay, so I don't want them to cook all the way. And you can see they're getting soft. Um, so they're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding um, the rest of the ingredients, the okra, the corn, etc., etc. All right, so I added the corn, the okra, and the tomatoes. Now I'm gonna add in my my pumpkin flavored mix but i don't want the noodles in it and it does have these little noodles that i i don't like i don't think it's attractive when you make um when you have soups and things like that it's fine but when i'm making um steamed dishes and i use it for flavor i don't like the noodles in it so what i do is i get 
it's a strainer essentially and I dump the contents of my soup mix onto the strainer and I just sift it and as you can see only the seasoning comes out and then I don't have to deal with the noodles so all right so I'm gonna add a little bit of ketchup to this just a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the fish um, which has green onions or scallions um, green peppers and purple onions and then I'm gonna add some water as well all right so I dropped the snapper in there and I'm just gonna go ahead and bury it under um, all these veggies just so you can kind of cover it up a little bit so it cooks evenly and okay. all right there you go now my camera is focused it's hard to film and do things at the same time um, so I'm gonna cover her up I've already added a little bit of water I don't want much more because once I cover this all the vegetables that I put in here also spring water they you know it'll, it'll get a little bit more liquefied um, so I'm just gonna cover it up under all these veggies and let it steam and there you go you can hardly see it um, but it's in there see the little tail sticking out all right, so now I'm just going to put the lid on, and this should be done in about, about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's looking all so good. And this would be the point where you would add your hard water crackers, your tough crackers, you know. All my Jamaicans know what I'm talking about, but I don't have any. So, it will have to do for now. But yeah. This is pretty much done. Just gonna give it a few more minutes and then I'm gonna turn it off. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. It's looking good. I can't wait to eat it. So steamed snapper, Jamaican style.